I understand what you're saying, but I just don't want to see Texas win. Well, hello, everyone. Welcome into Tech Sags Rewind, presented by our good friends at Specs. Raise a glass to springtime and big savings at your neighborhood Specs. Cheers to savings out there. Yeah, and I said out there, and it's uh, the Rollo Insurance Studio, by the way. Nick Savage behind the glass. Eric Casares there at the Angry Elephant News and Social Center. Gentlemen, baseball was top of mind. Scott Livingstone, my favorite. Nick, you can't steal it. What was yours? Uh, the baseball bunch, obviously. Um, and that leaves one man for Eric to pick from, I guess, two. I Eric? guess I'm rolling with Billy Lucci this week. So you're going to tell Olin Buchanan, with his temper mm. and all the just the anger that he has, that he wasn't your favorite? You know, Obi, you are my favorite. You are always my favorite. How about so wait, that? you're going to tell Billy Lucci. You can't do this to me, David. That's not fair. The owner, the face, the brand, that he wasn't your favorite? How about Obi's my favorite yesterday, or Wednesday, okay. and Billy's my favorite today? Oh, so now you're going to go all the way to Wednesday when he wasn't even on the show? He was in Destin. He was partying. Okay. All right. Um, sorry, guys. This was a random intro. Check out the Rewind. You'll love it. It's pretty good, I think. I hope. We'll see. Three things we want to see, OB. Um, do you want to go first? Well, you said you have some really good ones. I, I mean, so I if you're I proud of them, you go I ahead. mean, I'm not. I'm, I'm, they're, they're Captain Obvious proud, but I'll, I'll give it to you. I'm actually really proud of my bank on it, but this is different. Okay. okay? Tanner Jones. Mm-hmm. What I want to see. Yeah, see him. Breeze through Grambling State, okay? Yeah. Six plus innings, eight strikeouts, okay? It's been a minute since he's pitched. I think May 5th is the last time he pitched. Let's go, Tanner, and just give us a little hope, baby, because this offense is going to erupt in here, all right? So that's one. Two, offensive eruption, okay? And you're going to hear more about that offensive eruption on Bank on it because I got a prediction for tonight. That being said, let's remind folks who we are. You talking about things I want to see? That's what I want to see. Well, I want to put a different spin on it. I want to say, I want to, the things I don't want to see. Well, cool. That's coming in a second. I got one more for you. Okay. Texas and Louisiana tonight. Play deep into the night. If you need to go extras, go extras. Use every picture you have. I don't care. <laughs> I want you to be tired. I want you to be worked. I want it to be easy. Yes, a lot of people enjoy when it's a difficult journey to the championship. I don't want that. <laughs> I want easy peasy. All the no way. Stress. No stress. I want zero stress in my life, okay? I got This is Kinda a big like weekend for me. I game last night. Mavericks game, I liked it. Yeah, I didn't even watch the first quarter. I caught. I was whoa, we're killing them. Great, yeah. right? They win. They're going to the finals. Real Madrid plays in the championship game tomorrow. I hope we win, and I hope the Aggies breeze through this thing. So, Texas and Louisiana, please play deep into the night. OB? Yeah, I don't want to see a lot of walks from from Texas A&M pitchers. Right? I think you know, just throw some strikes and make the other team win. You know, don't help them out at all. Right? Mm-hmm. And I think you're going to be fine, especially tomorrow. I don't want to see. Uh, you know, double figures or even high single figures or strikeouts for, by in and batters. You don't mm-hmm. want to see them, uh, you know, get that ball and play. And uh, you know what? I, I understand what you're saying, but I just don't want to see Texas win. What are your thoughts on the regional itself? Texas is here, Louisiana's here, Grambling State. Uh, you know, I feel good about it. Uh, I actually feel real good about it. Uh, you know, we know we don't know a lot about Grambling. But, you know, you can look at film, and I know they're 26 and 26, and they're going to bring a, probably a good pitcher in. I think he's 12 and 2. Mm-hmm. And uh, so this is probably their shot. And then, and then after that, you know, Texas, you know, uh, raging Cajuns are always going to be tough. They're going to play hard, and they got, you know, Coach Deggs. And so having him over there, he knows a little bit about the Aggies. Yeah. And so that's, to me, that's probably going to be the toughest matchup. I'm not worried about Texas. Yeah, you say that with a smile, too. Yeah, it feels good. (laughs) (laughs) Uh, Let's let's talk a little bit about when you get time off, right? So Tanner Jones, for instance, has not started a game since May 5th. It's been a while for him. The Aggie baseball team left two of her probably earlier than we wanted, but probably what the the bodies needed. When you get time off like that, what does it do as you do get started here in a regional? Well, I talked about it earlier about, you know, as a hitter, you, you want your reps. You want consistent reps. You don't want to miss a week, two weeks, or have time off, especially like, you know, if you have an injury in the big leagues, you go on rehab to get yourself back and fresh and, and, and back on point. I think, I think the coaches, Coach Sloss and those guys, they're, they're going to have them as prepared as can be, and I'm sure they've been doing some uh, inner squads and scrimmage and stuff and seeing live pitching. So I think this coaching staff's amazing, and I think they're so knowledgeable – and it's a top-notch staff, and I think they're going to have them ready. And 
I think Sloss said it before earlier, actually on this on this show, that they sometimes you just need to be punched in the mouth. And they've finally been punched in the mouth. And so I think it's time that, you know, I think it's good. I think it's good for them. It's tough to, you can't win a championship without a few bumps in the road. Yeah, I, w- I don't want many bumps. I, I want it to be as easy <laughs> as possible. Do you, we, do you think we get back to seeing Braden Montgomery being Braden Montgomery? Definitely. Yeah. You, that type of hitter, you, you can't keep him down for a long period of time. And one, I tell you what, one thing that Will said on my ball five thing is that he, he saw him as a smart hitter. When they did the Stanford Regional, mm-hmm. they scouted those guys, and he said when he watched him on film that what he doesn't say this about a lot of hitters, but how smart he is. And you fool him with a changeup, you're not going to fool him again. And so he just he can make those adjustments. And I think, yeah, I think he'll be locked and loaded. It's going to be fun. Do you think uh, we got a new addition or a new commit over the last couple of days? I don't think you've been on the show since then. Uh, Tyler Thomas committing there uh, from Dickinson. Did I say there? I did say there. Yeah, you did. I did. Gosh, yeah. dog it. I'm noticing it now. Out I'm, there I'm, in Dickens. Hey, out there. Um, to me, I love what they're doing. I would have said it before they added Tyler, and I'm saying it after for sure. I love what they're doing on the offensive line and in the secondary. And they're going to continue. You know, I love what they did at quarterback with Longstreet. Mm-hmm. Um, and they're going to continue to, you know, just add to this class across the board. But – Secondary and O line, they seem to be loading up and they seem to be getting enough guys that even on the back end, if somebody, you know, starts taking visits and leave, they're going to be fine. Like they're, yeah. they're attacking need areas. And in Tyler Thomas, man, I look at him and I just think upside. I just, I remember like a class that included, I'm not saying this class will be at that level, but. Include and there are some tackles out there that could take it to that level, though. But like Jake Matthews, Luke Jokel, Cedric Aboy, I'm not talking about. Hey, this class, if they get those Dallas, two of those Dallas area tackles, they have three first round picks. That's not that's not a sure thing at all. I'm saying though, on paper in high school, they had Jake, they had Luke, they had Sed, who was a top 15 player in the state. They had a guy by the name of Shep Clink, who no one talks about because he didn't end up cracking the playing. Rotation, all-time name, Shep. Shep. Um, Three Stooges. From Katy. And I think they even had a, a fairly highly regarded guy in Garrett Grambling. Uh, Garrett Grambling from, uh, he was from Denton Guy or Denton Ryan, one of the two. And, like, your sixth, your sixth guy late was a guy named Jarvis Harrison out of Navasota, who ended up starting on, on – a top five team, a Cotton Bowl champion team, multi-year starter at guard, ended up getting drafted and playing in the NFL. Right. Yeah, I think when you saw the draw, my first thought was as expected. That's about what I thought was going to happen. There was no way that the committee was going to construct a regional for Texas A&M in this climate and the way this year has unfolded that didn't include one of Texas, TCU, or Nebraska. There was a lay down. They were getting one of those. There's just too many storylines. Obviously, the regionality of it as well. Uh, so, yeah, as expected, you know, I feel like we've talked a lot about the differences um, in all the clubs that are here. Uh, but, you know, the one, two, and three seed can all win it. No questions asked. So, when Scotty talks about, you know, I, I don't know. I know that they're putting numbers and metrics to judge the toughness of the regionals across the country. And I've seen kind of where AM sits. But just go off name brand right, and, and name recognition across college baseball. And you've got three very recognizable names to college baseball fans across the country in one regional. And because of those contrasting styles along with the talent, I think any of those three can, can win it. Eric, tell the people. Like, subscribe, share with a friend, rate it, and also go pack Olsen Field. Let's do it. And I'm going to win the, the regional? They are. They are absolutely going to win it. And it starts with today against Grambling. Nick? Yes. Yes. We'll see you next time.